Hello my pretty caterpillars and today we are doing the products that I regret buying. Now some of these I just don't like how they apply, I don't like how the formula is, some of them are just personal opinion and everyone's got different skin so it's not that I hate the brand completely, I just don't like the product for reasons A, B, C, D, Whatever I state, these are the reasons I don't like them, or that I regret buying them, or that I don't think I wouldn't ever repurchase, or that I don't recommend to people. So, without further ado, let's get into the products I regret buying. Now, two of the products I don't actually have with me, so I will insert a picture of what they look like right now. Which is, the first one is the CoverGirl clean oil control foundation. I don't have it with me. I have it left at home uh, because I'm away at school right now. So as I'm filming this, so yeah. I did a review on that and I will leave it down below, but I absolutely hate that foundation. It was just, I didn't like it. I think it sat on my skin weirdly. It was like I skin ate through it. I think in a couple hours I had like I think I think in a couple hours I had like giant patches all over my face of like it was patching off on my on my chin and my forehead and my nose and OMG person shush. <laughs> um, I had big giant patches on my face and my nose and just everywhere and it just didn't blend nicely and it didn't look good on my skin and I just did not like it but if you really like it you do I don't want to say that I hate CoverGirl foundations because my favorite all time favorite drugstore foundation is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous I think this is like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff I think it is amazing I absolutely love it I just did not like the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control foundation it definitely did not control my oil it was bad. I didn't like it. As well as the Maybelline Super Better Stay Skin. I did not like that stuff either. It, I can't remember why I didn't like it, but I definitely have a review and I'll link that down below. Um, I think I found it really patchy as well. I don't think it sat well on my skin. I think it patched off pretty quickly. It didn't rub blend easily or something. I don't know, but I didn't like it. The concealer I was okay with. I wasn't biggest fan of the concealer but I didn't like the foundation I remember that and I hated I'm pretty sure the Maybelline fit me foundation too I don't think I like that either I think I have a review of that down below too and I think I'll link that down below I love the concealer I don't think that I liked the foundation but I can't remember why I just didn't like it that's all I remember I didn't like it so yeah I have three products actually it's the Rimmel Fix and Protect the Pink Primer. This one has sunscreen in it. I wish I had the product with me. I had a home. I wish I would have waited to do this till I was at home, but I have other products that I kind of just want to toss them. Um, so, yeah. I love the blue one. The blue one's really nice, but the pink one, which has got like SPF 15 in your primer, it was so runny, the one I had. It was like milk. Um, it was so runny and it burned my face so I did not like that and for that reason because it burned my skin it my face felt like it was on fire when I used it and um, it was really runny and hard to blend and it just left my face looking white like it just looked like I put sunscreen on my face and just didn't rub it in and it was kind of like the running texture of like some runny sunscreens and I just was not a fan of it I really like their blue, the Fix and Prime blue one. That one was nice, but I think halfway through it did start to burn my skin. My skin kind of felt like it was on fire too. I don't know. The Rimmel primers, some of them I like, some of them I don't. So I'm going to say they make my skin like burn a bit. So I don't know what it is with the Rimmel primers. but I have a review of this foundation as well. I'll link that down below as well. It's the Revlon Color Stay in 110 Ivory. This one, to be fair, is the normal to dry skin, which I didn't know that they had that when I bought it. Otherwise, I would have got normal to oily skin, but I 
do not like this foundation at all I will leave my review down below um, it did not blend nicely on me I think it was patching off within a couple of hours and I even think it patched on my nose it just was not it did not work for me and my skin tone um, maybe if I tried the oily one but since it's like $20 like it's pretty expensive I do not think I will buy it I did not like it if it works for you I know lots of people love and rave about this foundation that's why I wanted to try it but I absolutely I hate it I don't like it oh it's terrible same with their Revlon cover girl cover stay liquid eyeliner I absolutely hate this it will transfer all over my waterline um, it flakes off it doesn't it transfers yeah no not it just it's like off it transfers all over my waterline every other one I can let it dry for five minutes and by the end of the day it won't be in my not my waterline I keep saying well, in the hood of my eyes it'll transfer to be up here on the hood of my eyes just a giant black line none of my eyeliners do this even I do the same application as I do with any other eye liquid eyeliner because I have such hooded eyes I have to wait for it to dry up for about five minutes and by the end of the day it's just all in the hood of my eyes which is very annoying and I don't want that so I do not like this concealer this um uh this foundation this liquid eyeliner pencil it's a felt tip one I just do not like it that is for sure <laughs> I do not at all Another eyeliner that I do not like is the elf eyeliner this is supposed to be waterproof I'm pretty sure this again transferred all over my waterline and I don't think it stayed really well I think it, it's supposed to be waterproof and I think my eyes started to water and it just was gone and even when my eyes weren't watering it doesn't last throughout the day like my wing will be gone and like half it'll be smudged off and it just not a huge fan I know it's only a couple dollars plus the felt tip isn't like the best it kind of looks like a chip dented strange marker thing too which I'm not the hugest fan of. so yeah I'm not a huge fan of this eyeliner again with elf's makeup setting spray mist I don't like that either it's three dollars the mister on it is it's a pretty good mister I like the mister um this just does not help my makeup stay long I wore it for an entire week and I have it on a foundation that my other ones, when I use my, my all-time favorite Wet n Wild setting spray, um, would last all day. This, it was patching off within a couple hours. My blush didn't last very long. It was gone by the end of the day. Normally with that stuff, my blush will still be there. My bronzer was gone. Just everything, basically, my highlight was gone. Like, everything had just kind of faded away throughout the day. And normally when I put a setting spray on, it helps like it last longer and I prime my face and normally those two things help make your makeup last longer. But this guy did not work for me. And I know it's only $3, but the Wet n Wild setting spray is under $5 and it's better. So for a couple dollars more, it's got a much better mister on it. Probably the same amount, maybe more product in the Wet n Wild one, I'm not 100% sure. but. I still love that one over this I do not recommend this stuff I'm just not a fan of it I do really like elf don't get me wrong I have elf eyeshadow on today I love it um, I really like elf's makeup brushes it's a really nice brand and there's some really good things but I'm wearing lipsticks things on my lips right now is my elf I love elf but don't get me wrong I don't know I'm not hating on elf here I really do like elf I don't know where that went to though really love it it's in I found it it's in tea rose it's by elf C. I really like these lip things I'm like almost done it to be honest like there's not a whole lot left <laughs> of product I absolutely love elf elf is like an affordable makeup brand I love it I have a lot of like I have a lot of elf makeup brushes so another eyeliner thing that I don't really like which this is a gel eyeliner and 
I don't think I will repurchase this. It's okay, but it's not my favorite. You have to twist up to get the bottom to get the product. It's the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. I'm just not a huge fan of this. It was on sale for $10, and I thought, hey, why not try it? It's a gel eyeliner pen, and I just prefer felt tips. They're a little easier to control. I just find it gives me a better line than when I wear this. I have trouble doing my wing when I wear this. It kind of will like half do it and then it like fades away and it's just it can break off in pieces. Then you got this big black line and then it will like so if it falls anywhere on my face, it'll like I try to pick it up, but it'll like smudge all over my face and it just breaks my makeup and so for those reasons I don't think I would purchase it nor do I really recommend it. I'm just not a gel eyeliner kind of girl. I like felt tips eyeliner. I like liquid eyeliner more than a gel eyeliner or more than a pot eyeliner. So yeah, for that reason, I don't think I'll purchase this. So. I mean, it was only $10 and it was nice to try and I'm wearing it on my eyes today, but um, I'm just not a huge fan of the eyeliner. So yeah. Now another brand, I don't want you to think that I am again hating on this brand because I have about the two products that I do not like of theirs. I actually have another um, mascara that I don't actually have. I think it's like the Maybelline Sensational Lash. It's in the purple tube. I hate that stuff. It hurt my eyelashes to wear it. Like my eyelashes by the end of the day hurt, which I've never experienced that with an eyeliner. And I love the Maybelline Great Lash Eyeliner. It's more of a natural one. It's under $5. It's in a green pink tube. But the, I have a review of the Maybelline Sensational one down below, so I'll link that down below the mascara. But it hurt my eyelashes, it flaked on me, I just did not like it. Everyone raves about that one too, and I'm like, oh, I don't like it. Other thing I don't like, just because formula-wise, I don't like silicone primers. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer, and I don't like, it feels very silicone-y, it feels just like the Smashbox um, Primer, so if you, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, that one again is basically just like this. I think it is almost like a dupe an exact dupe for this as well as the elf um, hydrating primer face primers they all seem to be silicone type primers and I just don't like silicone type primers they don't make my makeup blend well I just don't like how they set on my skin I just don't like the texture of them just not a huge fan if they feel really silicone-y. So for that reason, I regret purchasing this. I think I may pass this on to a friend just because I do not like it. I bought this at the dollar store for $4 and normally it's like 10 bucks. But if you really, really like or really want to try the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, this is an exact dupe for it, I feel like. It feels the exact same, does the same job. I just don't like silicone-y type primers so that's why I don't like this product and this guy is the Maybelline blushing nudes palette and I wouldn't recommend this palette just because for the sole fact that there is barely any pigment in any of these shadows they're really pretty and I've used up like three pots I can see I've used this pan um, this eyeshadow stuff quite a bit. I've panned some of these. Um, there was a white, a pink, and a bronzy gold color. I mean, this color was gorgeous. That was basically the only one that actually had good pigment in it. The rest of them are very not pigmented in color. Like, they don't swatch very well. They don't go on the eyes very well. I'm just not the hugest fan. Fan, I think you can get a much better eyeshadow palette for a much better price than this and I mean I do like it but um, I think there are better pinky nude color palettes out there that are much more pigmented than this guy so yeah. this is gold bond ultimate um, soothing chamomile um, lotion. I'm not a huge fan of this because when I put it on my hands and I rub it in my hands feel really sticky afterwards and I just don't like feeling sticky. I'm almost done this too. The bottle's almost 
MG and I will definitely not be repurchasing this once I have done. It's very sticky and I don't like my foundation, my lotions to feel sticky. After I rub them in, I don't like my hands to be sticky and I'm like, eh, I'm sticky. I don't know. I want it. don't want to touch anything because I'm sticky and I just, I don't like sticky foundation. I want it to absorb and still feel like there's moisturizer on my skin, but not when I touch things and everything's sticky. So yeah. I mean, greasy, if this was a little greasy too, but I don't like sticky. Sticky is not my favorite. And the final product that I do not like is the Skin Therapy, I believe, something, I can't read. Um, skin Therapy... Oh, it's a skin therapy. Facial Mist. Um, it's number 26 Coconut Hibiscus. And it's by Home and Body Co. from the USA. I found this at Winners. It was $12.99. It's got a good mist on it. Don't get me wrong on that. It's just when I spray this on my face, it smells really nice. But when I spray it on my face, it uh, burns my eyes. <laughs> it gets into my eyes. And nothing else that I spray like will drip down on my face and get into my eyes it smells really nice and i like the idea but it just every time i've used it it gets into my eyes and it burns my eyes and so for that reason like i can just smell it and it smells so nice right now and it is really hydrating it just burns my eyes so i don't think i would repurchase this unless maybe i'm just spraying too much of it and it's just yeah, dripping into my eyes but when I spray my primers and even my um, water and tea tree oil and um, witch hazel mix that I make up at home, that when I spray that all over my face, that doesn't even get into my eyes. So for those reasons, I'm not a huge fan of this facial mist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, and I will probably do another one once I get a group of products that I uh, regret purchasing. But for whatever reason, these products just did not work out for me. I just wasn't a huge fan of them. And some of them I just don't like how they applicators or um, some of it. Some of these products, there's nothing wrong with them. I just personally don't like the formula or the texture or how it put on my skin or just, you know, it's not that they're bad products or anything. But if you love them, go right ahead and um, I just... I gave my reasons and I'm not hating on the brand themselves. I love lots of the stuff by this by all these brands. Some of my favorite products are from these brands, but some of the products I had from them just did not work out for me and I regret buying them and yeah, and maybe I can help you save some money if you don't like some of these types of products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, beautiful butterflies. Bye.